First lesson for this new chapter is about proportional and constant rate of change. So just to remind you what makes a relationship proportional. First of all, the k values all have to be the same. So if we're looking at um, a set of data points or we're looking at a chart or something like that, when we do y divided by x, that's how we get k, all your k values are going to have to be the same. If you are looking at a graph, remember it has to start at 0, 0. And it has to be a straight line as well. So what we can do is take a look at Marcus's situation here. Um, finding our rate of change, which is just our k value here, we're going to do y divided by x. So the zeros aren't going to count because we know that that's where it has to start anyway. Um, 2 divided by 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So our rate of change is going to be two songs per minute. And we can get that by doing two songs divided by one minute, taking our y divided by our x. So it says graph the ordered pairs on the graph below and then label the axes. So if we have 0, 0, we have 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8. You're going to notice, yep, we got a straight line here, which should. Um, X values are going to be our time in terms of minutes, and our Y values are going to be our number of songs then. So there's our first graph. Linear relationships are relationships that have straight line graphs. Um, the rate of change between any two points in a linear relationship is constant. So a linear relationship has a constant rate of change. The balance in the account after several transactions shown, is the relationship linear? If yes, find the constant rate of change. So what we're doing here is we're actually finding the change now. We're not just doing y divided by x. So if I go from 3 to 6, that's a change of adding 3. 6 to 9 is a change of adding 3. And 9 to 12 is a change of adding 3. From 170 to 140, that's a decrease of 30. 140 to 110 is a decrease of 30 and 110 to 180 is a decrease of 30. So my rate of change is how the y values change over how the x values change. And remember from our proportional chapter, we actually talked about this and we use those delta symbols. They represent the change. So the changes in our graph, this would be x and that would be y. Our y change is a negative $30 and our x change is for three transactions. So what that means is if we actually go ahead and divide, we have negative $10 per transaction. Since all of those changes are the same, 33, 33, negative 33, we can say that yes, this is linear because the rate of change stays the same for all those different parts of our relationship. On the next page, um, we have two more examples. So we're looking at, is the relationship linear? If so, find the constant rate of change. Looking at these points, we can actually identify them. This is the point 880. This is the point 1660. And this is the point 2440. So what we can do is actually, let's make an XY chart to kind of make our life a little bit easier. So we have 880, 1660, and 24. 40. The x values increase by 8, and the y values, it looks like they're decreasing by 20. So our rate of change is delta y over delta x, so it's a negative 20 minutes per 8 volunteers. And we're going to go ahead and actually divide this, but we're going to leave it as a um, fraction. So what you want to do is just go ahead and actually simplify this fraction then. And you want to make sure that your fraction stays um, an improper fraction. So you're going to have negative 5 minutes per 2 volunteers. And you'll see why we're going to do that in the next lesson. Over here, if we add 5, it looks like, every time on the x side. Oh, that one's a yes linear. Sorry about that. Over here, it looks like we're decreasing by 5 here, decreasing by 4, and then decreasing by 4. If I look, my first rate of change is negative 5 over 5, but my next rate of change is negative 4 over 5 and negative 4 over 5. Those are not all the same, so we have to say no because it's not a linear relationship.